it is pouring rain outside today, so it's going to be a perfect day to get some sewing done. Welcome to A Rumor of Stitches. My name is Janice, and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook and right here on YouTube as A Rumor of Stitches. Today we're going to be working on the Jelly Roll Bowl Cozies. This is a pattern by the Gypsy Quilter. It's a it's a clear template, but I've got it with the backing that it came with so you can actually see it. The pattern actually calls for you to use two and a half inch strips. But I have leftover pieces from Jelly Roll Race Quilts that I'm going to be using, so it works out great. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I have this 100% cotton batting, and this is leftovers from making other pot holders. And I've got my template here, and what I've done is I've taken a pen and just marked out the lines. Now this is a heat erasable pen, so when I get finished and I iron it, it's just going to um, disappear. I've got all my markings laid out and you can see everything here. Usually I would rotary cut them all out, but this is not acrylic. Um, this is more like a little plastic piece. It's just a template, it's not for rotary cutting if you try to rotary cut it it would just slice right through it but i took my whole piece and i got four four bowl cozies uh laid out and the next step will be finding the material that would be big enough to cover it there has to be a front and a back so that's next these are the two pieces that i've chosen for right now i've got some pinks that i'm going to be using on some other ones but these are the four that I'm going to do right now. These are scraps, so they're not big enough to do all four out of the same ones because they are cut up from other projects. But I'm going to iron these out, and then I'm going to cut them all out. You do need to use two pieces of batting because this is really thin. So this is just to keep you from burning yourself, which is the whole point of these anyway. last one all right all four of them are ready now to get the fabric for the outside Okay, there's going to be two fronts and two backs to each piece. So, I've just got my fabric folded and I'm going to take this as a template and just get on the edge where it's even and where there are no holes where I've cut other stuff out. And I'm just going to cut around it. That is enough to make up two different bowls, front and back, front and back. Okay. And I still have enough left over for something else. Okay, so I've tried several different ways, but I can't get two complete bowl cozies out of this one because it's cut up too much. So I'm going to get one out of this, and then I'm going to look and see about taking one out of the pink and see if I have a big enough piece for that. If not, I'll sew a couple of pieces together and 
figure it out. Well, let's go ahead and get this this one cut out first. It'll be just fine. Now, um, the directions have instructions about how you can sew your strips together. That way you can get exactly what you want. But I like using up scraps anyway. And I guess I could fussy cut pieces out of this one to get the exact piece that I want. But I'm going to be using this on a lot of different stuff. My favorite piece out of the whole thing is this part right here. This sunset kind of colors. And... I would love to have more of that on there, but that's okay. It's going to be in something else. Alright. That's another one. So that's the third one. I got one more to try to figure out. Okay, so this is what I figured out. I can get one more bowl cozy out of this middle right here. And there's big enough pieces that they can overlap. So if I put one here, and if I put one here, I can overlap this piece here and get another set out. And then when I get to the sewing machine, I can just, I can sew these strips together and make a bigger piece. And then I can still use some more of this fabric. So that's what I'm gonna do. get it to the sewing machine and I sew these two pieces together then I'll retrim them up to be this piece right here so that's all four of them so there's two out of this fabric with the green and there's two out of the other fabrics which it really doesn't make any difference because they're they all blend together great. So I'll have four that match. Okay, now that I've got everything cut out and ready to go, I'm gonna go back on just the batting and cut out these V's. These are gonna be the darts when we're sewing them together. Just a side note. These are not meant to go into the microwave because of the little sparklies that are in the material. It's 100% cotton, but I don't know if these sparkly things are metallic or not. So I would not put these into the microwave. On the template, you can see little V's. And that is what I was drawing out on each of the pieces of batting when I was getting it ready to cut out but this is what you cut to make the darts I have all of my pieces quilted I just stitched in the ditch of all the lines here this is what it looks like and now on to the next step and that is going to be folding these and stitching on this dart line here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold these in half, matching up these edges, and just sew the darts on all four sides. And this is what it looks like so far. You have your little tails here, and you have a nice little indention here for your bowl just to sit in. And I'm about to put on the other side and then it'll be done for this next part what i'm going to do is i'm going to take where i've got the dart on this side and the dart on this side and i'm going to match up these seams right here and i'm just going to use some of my little clips and clip these edges and i'm going to do that on each side i'm going to match up the darts and then I'm going to sew around the edges, but I'm gonna leave a space for, I'm gonna leave one of these spaces open 
for turning because I've got the right sides of the fabric together, but I've got to get them right sides out after they're connected. So I'm going to continue doing that and I'm going to just sew a seam around leaving a part for opening. It's all right side out now. It's in the shape of a bowl, which is good. Okay, so the next thing is just doing a top stitch. It'll go around this edge just to hold the pieces together. And over here, it will close up this gap where I turned it. Now, a couple of things that I would do if I was making these to sell, which I'm not. I don't sell any of the stuff that I make anymore. I used to, but I don't anymore. Um, one thing that I would do is, if I was going to sell these, is this closure right here, I would hand stitch it first. That way, if the stitching came out, or if it didn't quite catch in the sewing machine when I was doing the top, top stitching around, it wouldn't matter because it would still stay closed. Um, another thing that I would probably do is take and use a darker color around the top stitching. Instead of the white, I would probably also, instead of using the white to stitch in the ditch, I would probably get something that would blend better. But... Like I said, they're for me. They're utilitarian. They're going to wear out. They're going to be washed a million times. So that's not going to really be a problem. So I'm going to stitch these up right quick. And then I'll show you the finished product. And there it is. I've got the top stitching around the edges. I just barely caught the edges of it. There's, it's a nice little bowl form. And it fits my bowls just perfect. So I'm looking forward to using these with soups and chilies. It's getting about that time of year. We're going to start getting some cooler weather, hopefully. September, October, and November. So I'm excited to have a new set that me and my family can use to keep our hands from getting too hot. Thanks for joining me and if you like what you see and you want to follow along, just hit the like and subscribe buttons and if you want to be notified when a new video is coming out, just hit the bell. We put out new videos every Wednesday. Thanks and see you later. This has been a production of a rumor of stitches. Bye, see you later.